Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to calculate all permutations and combinations of a numeric sequence using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the functions of the Combinet package. And in order to use the functions of this package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the Combinet package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it, as you can see in line three of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the Combinet package, such as perm n and comp n. So let's assume that we want to calculate all permutations of the values one, two, and three. Then we can apply the perm n function, as you can see in line 5 of the code. And within the perm n function, we simply need to specify the highest value of our sequence. So since we want to calculate the permutations of the values 1, 2 and 3, we just need to specify the value 3 within the perm n function. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called permute. So if we run this line of code, you can see that a new list object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can print this list to the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new list object. And as you can see, each of these list elements is containing a different permutation of our numeric sequence. So the first permutation is one, two, three. The second permutation is one, three, two, and so on. So let's assume that we also want to count the number of possible permutations of our sequence of three values. Then we can apply the perm n function in combination with the length function, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, another data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called permute count. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that the value six is returned. So in other words, our sequence of the values one, two, and three provides six possible permutations. So in the first example of this tutorial, I have explained how to calculate all possible permutations of a numeric sequence. However, it is also possible to use the Combinat package to calculate all possible combinations. And for this, we can use the comp n function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And within the comp n function, we need to specify the highest value of our sequence. And we need to specify, and we need to specify the number of values to choose from our sequence. So in this case, we are choosing two values from the sequence. Make sure to specify the combinat package in front of our comp n function, because the comp n function is also provided by other packages and this way we can make sure that we are using the Combinet package to calculate the possible combinations of our data. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called Combi. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that a new data object appears at the top right of RStudio, and we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a matrix which is containing all possible combinations of our data. So in this case, the possible combinations are one and two, one and three, and two and three. Now, if we want to count the possible combinations of our data, we can adjust our code so that we are adding the nCall function to our code. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that another data object appears at the top right, which is called combi count. And we can print this value to the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. And then you can see that the value three has been returned. So in other words, we have three possible combinations of our values. So in this video, I have explained how to use the functions of the Combinet package to calculate all possible permutations and combinations of a sequence of values. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.